Are you curious about runner length and how it impacts your engine and your performance? Well, today we're talking about just that. We're going to use an ATK HP 89 Chevy crate engine. This should make about 375 horsepower or so with a carburetor and an RPM air gap. Um, we're going to run it with a TPI system and a Holley Stealth Ram. These are the systems that I know the best. So that's what we're going to use. Um, these systems are drastically different. We're sitting at about 13 and a half inch runner length with about inch and a half runner diameter on the TPI versus uh, six inch and 2.33 inch diameter on the Stealth Ram. The Stealth Ram flows about 275 CFM per runner. Um, so that's massive. That's huge difference versus what the TPI does stock, um, which is maybe 190s depending on, on how things go. You know, that's, that's a drastic change. So let's go ahead and throw this in the dyno, pull up the sheet, and this is what we're looking at here. We're looking at 405 pounds of pork peak and about 339 horsepower. So the big thing with this too is we want to mention that this is not going to match what the carbureted engine does in the ad. It's just not going to happen. Looking at this curve, though, the curve is gorgeous. I mean, this would be a really fun driving car. It'd be a great car. Um, just as a cruiser, this would be something that'd be great in the mountains, um, around tracks, things like that. So keeping those numbers in mind, let's go ahead and throw on that Stealth Ram system. And mind you, the Stealth Ram system uses the same uh, throttle body, so that is going to remain the same, and that's not going to be a changing variable here. And we're going to see that we saw drastic drops in the peak torque down about 341, but we're going to see a huge horsepower gain, about 377, back to about where that carburetor should be. I think Stealth Ram is about as close as you're going to get to the carbureted setup as far as performance goes. So if that's what you want as you're replacing a carburetor, the Stealth Ram is an excellent option. So looking at this, these differences, though, these are completely different engines. It's the same engine, the same cam, same heads, um, but it's a different engine. I mean, just look at, look at how this car drives, right? So let's go ahead and throw that first batch in, the one with the TPI engine. Let's throw that in the... Uh, the drag race analyzer. This analyzer uses my Camaro with a 700 R4 and a 2400 RPM stall. I've got a Mosier 342 in the back with True Track and full UMI suspension parts using street radials as well. Uh, we are going to let the computer pick the shift times because obviously you're going to want drastically different shift times in the, um, the different runner lengths. So if you want to have that discussion, comment down below and let me know. We can have that discussion another time. But we're going to calculate ET, and this car should run, yeah, low 13s, 13 to 5-ish, 2-3, um, but a, a good 2-1-6, 60-foot. This car would be a ton of fun to drive. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw that Stealth Ram on there, and mind you, this car right now is shifting about 6,000 RPM, is like where it really wants to reach out to. Um, so that's not surprising other than it having the TPI, uh, that's kind of, it's reaching out there. Okay, so now with that Holly Stealth Ram system set up, let's go ahead and throw that into the calculator and see what it has to say. So we're sitting about 13.29, so we're really close to that TPI performance, um, but we're stretching the engine out a little bit more, 6,200 RPM or so, um, not that much more. Personally, I'd probably shift that other engine a little bit lower just because I like the idea of the TPI not whining past that original line. Because if you look at this, yeah, it carries the power to about 6,000 RPM, but you're starting to lose at about 5,500. I mean, honestly, overall, I'm kind of surprised to see how close the numbers are. Personally, I think the TPI is an excellent setup. Um, I think with a little bit of porting and engineering, the TPI system is phenomenal. I'm going to outdo most other systems. Um, I don't know, man. I kind of really expected the uh, the Stealth Ram to really show itself and and show the difference, but all it did was move the torque and horsepower curve around and didn't really gain us or change us that much. But, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.